I've been looking at a bunch of different places where I could put that bracket out. Originally, I wanted to put it up here on the side, but then I was looking at this brick caliper and realized this fender or whatever you want to call it, it's straight up metal and it's really, really strong. I'm actually going to use that to mount the license plate bracket. So this is what I'm going to use. I already have a plate and I got some lights for the, it comes with this stop light, but I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to, uh, I have a different brake light I'm going to use. And of course, these two brackets, one for the mount, one for the light and some hot air. So everything's lining up so far perfectly, but that hole, which is one of the corner holes for the license plate, is being blocked just a tiny bit by this end piece. So I'm just gonna take an angle grinder and cut it. Just trim the end piece off, and now the hole is clear. So a license plate screw can go in there easily. So, just gotta figure something out with the light now. Let's see what we can come up with. So it looks like I'll be able to use the light brackets that came with the whole bracket assembly because this is the light that I want to use. The light itself is just a few millimeters wider than the bracket. So I can easily drill two holes so I can put the two screws there to hold the light in place and I can just chop the top of the bracket off at this point. So I did decide to weld the nuts to the back of this bracket. That will make it a lot easier. It's really tricky to get those things in here and get the screw in. Let's uh, get this mounted onto the bike so we can uh, take a final look at what it looks like. Ta-da! And we got a license plate bracket for our license plate. Thanks again for watching the video, don't forget to give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.